So pretty simple in terms of an ILS approach. The course is 156. Uh, the frequency, the localizer is 108.1. Our minimums uh, for a category D aircraft are 220 barrow. We're doing the Cat 1 ILS. And that's about it. Uh, the weather hasn't changed much. Uh, winds are a little bit more easterly now. It's 120 at 9. QNH is still 1014. Clear skies should be a fantastic approach. Welcome back to the flight deck, ladies and gentlemen. We are approaching our top of descent on this very, very short flight. We're 26 minutes in the air. And what we can do is start with our descent preparation checklist. I've already set the minimums of 220 Barrow, and we have the standby Q&H of 1014. So first item on the checklist is recall. We can go ahead and check that. Nothing to indicate there. Notes checked, auto brakes. Uh, well, we're landing long because we want to vacate ideally at the other end of the runway so go ahead auto brakes one landing data we have our vref and minimums uh, well we don't have the vref yet actually check that off a little bit prematurely so we have 548.3 is our gross weight now we have 24.3 tons of fuel uh, according to the progress page we are landing with 20.8 there we go put in flaps 30 uh, so that is done. We need to reset the MCP altitude, so let's check if we have any constraints. 12,000 or below. So let's just do uh, something like... Actually, you know what? We'll bring it down to 8. 8 or above. That, that, will, uh, that seems like a good plan. So 8 or above, we can go ahead and uh, I'm going to refresh the uh, descent forecast. Just give us the most accurate descent profile. Bring my physical throttle levers all the way back so they don't spike uh, the uh, the simulator and prompt um, <clears throat> extra engine power when we don't need it. So there we go. We can go ahead and load those in. I doubt they've changed very much. They have literally not changed at all. So that's all good. Approach briefing. Well, essentially we're going to be coming in. Uh, let's go to the plan page step through some of the lengths. <clears throat> so we're coming in from the east initially and then making our way uh, just east and uh, to the north of the airfield. And then we're going to be making a loop here uh, through Tando and then Galsi and on to the final approach fix. Our, we should be at 3,000 at the final approach fix for 1-6 right at Hamad. That is the approach briefing complete. Altimeters, we can stand by on those. Transition is 1-3, so we'll wait on that. I'll keep that on the approach ref. We'll keep this one on the legs page. Everybody's happy. And you know what? We'll start descending a little bit early. Descend now. How far are we? Yeah, let's go ahead. Ah, you know what? It's descending by itself. It's all good. Descent mode is active. Down we go. 29 minutes into the flight and we're already descending. This is quite the short flight for the triple. But it gives, gives me an excuse to uh, to take the 777 out on a nice short route and fly for our wonderful code share partners, Metro Air. So I'm basically just going to monitor this. I mean, there's really not much in terms of action. Uh, there's no, still no ATC, not much in terms of traffic coming into Ahmad. We'll see if maybe something springs up along the way, but I really doubt it in this case.
So we're just uh, downwind essentially of our uh, arrival runway. There's the field. Uh, one six right is there. That's our arrival. And everything's starting to load in. Um, what we're also approaching is our constraint that we set, our initial constraint of 8,000 by Egnug. Uh, so we're going to go down to, we're going to dial it down to 3,000, which is also our, uh, I think that's our missed approach. Let's have a look quickly. Nope, 2,000 is our missed approach. Cool. So as everything loads in, there's our arrival airfield. And we'll be coming in on this runway over here. So we're basically going to come out over here to the um, to the west and then make a loop around and then come back for our arrival airport. And we're parking somewhere right around there. That should be Concourse A. It's awesome. I love these, uh, these procedures that bring you essentially over the field or just about over the field. It's really cool. So we're coming up to our deceleration point. You can see that's indicated by this little green dot here. That's where we'll start bringing up the flaps, uh, probably to bring the speed back down to uh, initially 220 and then 180 and then 170 by the final approach fix. That looks good to me. So the shiny switches are configured for now. Just ding the cabin, cabin crew seats for a landing. Everything's still uh, set up. q &H is still 1014. Uh, barometric minimum is 220. I really don't see an issue about that. Visibility is fantastic. We had a 25 knot uh, headwind at the moment. Uh, we were battling a, a headwind even up at uh, 240 quite uh, pretty much the entire way here, which means that our flight back uh, will basically uh, be a tailwind the entire way, so that should be much, much faster. 45 minutes in the air. I unfortunately forgot to uh, set the start the clock on the other one from the uh, pushback, but luckily enough, and here comes flaps one by the way, because it's trying to get to 220 and then 180. Um, but uh, the the lowest it, the, the logic is is essentially that it'll bring it down to the flaps up speed, but if unless you put the the, the flaps out or start putting the flaps out, uh, out, it won't go below that until you start setting the uh, the flaps. So what was I saying? Yeah, right. The um, the uh, Metro A car system uh, gives you an off block time, so we're looking at an off block of uh, 7:57 and two seconds Zulu, which is nice because again I forgot to set the uh, the FO's clock when we push back. So here we are, basically um, positioning ourselves. We're downwind, then we're gonna our uh, base leg, and then uh, our final approach. Speed's coming back nicely. Go ahead and bring up flaps five. The speed coming back. We've already got a localizer. We don't have the glide yet. That's fine. 5,400 feet for 3,000. Once again, our approach, uh, our approach, uh, sorry, our uh, inbound course is 156. We've got DME here from the field, so we've got uh, 15, 16 miles now. I'm going to start our right-hand turn and start getting set up for the landing. So here we are on our um, base leg, and we'll go ahead and sync up the headings. 156 was the inbound. Gonna go ahead and uh, hit the localizer. There we go. You can see it's already uh, set up the heading. Uh, we can go ahead and pull up the checklist. Uh, that is set. That was our approach checklist, and now our landing checklist. So. Speed brake is armed, 
landing gear, we're standby for that. Go ahead and add an extra notch of flaps. We want 170 now. Keep that speed coming back. And localizers captured, approach. Dump out all the shiny switches. I'll go ahead and turn on the uh, turn offs one more time. Advise the cabin. Just waiting for the the uh, glide slope. A little bit hazy from here. Still can't see the runway. So we'll leave it in autopilot for a little bit longer. There we go, glide slope is captured. We'll reset for the best approach, which is 2000. Gears coming out. Still a little bit hazy. Start bringing the speed back a little bit more. Bring out flaps 20. Our approach, uh, our V ref rather is 148 plus 3 is 153, so that is set. Speed's still coming back. We'll go ahead and full flaps now. About 10 miles to run. Waiting for the flaps, and that should be the landing checklist complete. Flaps 30, landing checklist complete. There's the runway. My aircraft. So, wind not really a factor at this point. It's pretty calm up here. Start pitching down a little bit. One thousand. I don't really mind if I'm a little bit high on this approach because, as I mentioned earlier, we're vacating all the way at the other end. bit high. Go ahead and add a little bit of down trim. It's looking pretty good. Sync up the throttles and auto throttles coming out. minimums. Check. Minimums. Landing. One hundred. Start the flare. 30. Idle throttles. Twenty. Ten. That might have been a bit of a bounce. Nothing major though. Nose wheel, reverse green. Reverse coming in, 60 knots. Auto brakes disengaged. And we'll roll this all the way to the other end. Nobody behind us on the approach, so that's fine. Take out the flight directors. Start the APU.
and welcome to Hamad. So we are going to vacate the runway here, just about at the end. I think it's wide enough, I'm hoping. And we'll park somewhere around that terminal there, which is Concourse A. Oversteer. Okay. Strobes can come off, landing lights can come off, taxi, take the turn offs. A little bit of lag there. Whoops. Uh, we'll bring the flaps up. Looks like we're all alone for the time being. Stop the clock. Gonna go ahead and park it actually somewhere around here, Concourse A. I think we're gonna go to A8. Could have done uh, to vacate uh, the runway at the next intersection. That would have been a little bit easier, but oh well. So we can get rid of that, and we can get rid of the weather radar. Add a little bit of extra power. APU's already running. And we're going to, uh, let's see if we can see it, that stand right there. Lovely scenery. Taxi light can come off, not needed anyway. There goes a catering truck through our loader, that's fine. Parking has never been my forte. And a little bit further. Yeah, dude, you're behind the sign. It's not the ideal location for the marshaller, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Might be a little bit short. That's fine. Alright, uh, track IR comes off. APU is running. Let's go ahead and kill the engines. Let me guess, you're gonna complain at me because I'm a little bit short, right? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you're expecting me to move forward. Engines are off, buddy. Sorry. Uh, let's see. N1 rotation passes six. Beacon can come off. And that is us with this leg completed. So on blocks uh, was uh, an hour and 20 minutes block to block. We are we landed at uh, 9:07 apparently, and arrival 9:17 Zulu. 
There we go. That is all according to the Metro ACARS. Love that ACARS system, by the way. Good job, Metro, for that one. Uh, transponder can come off. Uh, shiny switches are configured. Hydraulics. Like so. And we'll leave it in a turnaround state because we are flying back out to Dubai in about, uh, what time's the outbound flight? I'm gonna check that and I'll be right back and uh, we'll get this plane deboarded. Right, so the outbound flight is in about an hour and 10 minutes. I'm gonna go check uh, the weather and enter the flight plan and all that good stuff. Maybe grab a little bit of lunch and uh, we'll catch you in about an hour for the flight back to Dubai. <laughs>